Right now, recess <laughs> turns a pool into a classroom. Look, the water falls right through. We need scoops. Where kindergartners in Spartanburg District 5 are getting a life-saving lesson. The more we can spread this, the safer our community is going to be. Rachel Smith helped create this program for her old school, Welford Academy. She's a swim coach at the Middle Tiger YMCA. It's a place that they can learn to have lifelong wellness and the Y is a great place to get, get that started. District 5 started the program last year, bringing kindergartners here for swim lessons one day a week for 10 weeks. We kind of were like, whoa, we're going to leave the classroom and go swim. What about our reading and our writing and our math? We've got a lot of content to cover in such a short amount of time. Teacher Jennifer Crosby quickly learned that the benefits go far beyond safety and fitness. They have a willingness to try new things, like a science lesson that we might do where they try new foods. They're trying to test, taste, taste test sweet and salty things. They're not so afraid because they kind of connect their learning from our swim lessons where they try something new with swimming and they jump into the pool. She says the promise of pool time seems to improve behavior too. They want to go swimming, so they do try to do a little bit better in the classroom and listen and follow through with what they do. Today was day one for this group. Some of the kids had never been around a pool. I look at it as it's something that they're going to need in life as a functional skill. The district pays for the program. There's no cost to parents. When it comes down to it, though, there's really no way to put a price tag on a lesson this valuable. I think more schools need to get involved. Um, we want no more news stories about kids having, having accidents from pools or from water. Um, if we've got this kind of resource, why not use it? Scoops and kicks are how we move in the water. Mike McCormick, WIFF News 4, Spartanburg County.